Introducing the newest phenom to the world of YouTube boxing. Mom, I think you need a new phone. He's a speaker of some sort. Um, I think he's all of that, guys. Here's the old man boxing fan. What's up? What's good, y'all? Hey, look here, man. I like to look at different kinds of fights. I like seeing fights, man. And I, I'm not going to tell you I'm touting these guys real high. But what I get out of it is I get the pleasure of seeing a story unfold, if you know what I mean. Just in case somebody wants to throw these people in our face later on and say they're the cream of the crop. Okay, Louis Ritson versus Francesco Patera. Now, I heard them saying Francesco. I don't see a CH in his name anywhere, so I'm going to say Francesco. Okay, now, from the beginning, you know, I didn't catch all the, 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 the pre-stuff. You know, all the, st- all the talking and, and interviews that they have before the fights. I didn't catch none of that. But I did catch the commentators talking before the fight. And I did catch the walk-ins. So, while um, Ritson is walking in, you know, they, they're, they're touting this guy really good. And, they, you know, he's saying that, yeah, um, the crowd loves him here because he comes in and he takes care of business. Now, when the other guy came in, of course, you get all the bulls and everything. And then the fight starts. So as the fight starts, I'm watching Ritson and I'm listening to the commentators. And the commentators are saying something like Hearn calls this guy Jordy Golovkin because of how he fights. They say his style is Golovkin-ish. Now, when these commentators start talking like that, what automatically clicks in my head is, okay, this dude, so I guess this dude is going to come in here and he going to come in here guns blazing. Because that's what they try to make Gennady Golovkin look like. Sure enough, first round came in, guns blazing. And he got strong jabs, you know, and, and, and Patera was going to the body. He was putting in work in that body, and he was moving around, but not as much. He was getting caught by some pretty good shots. um, Ritson was cutting off the ring pretty well. He was doing all of this good stuff. And I'm like, yeah, you know, the guy looks strong, but that's all he's doing is coming straight forward, cutting off the ring, and throwing hard punches. Not really going to the body. His his jabs were pretty strong, pretty strong jabs. So as I'm listening to them, you know, throughout, I say up to the fourth round, one, one, one of them decided to say that he's a former soccer player, a.k.a. football overseas. And I'm like, uh-huh. So as, you know, the fight's going on, the fight's going on. And I noticed something. They're starting to get these guys from other sports and bringing them into boxing which rarely works you know it it rarely 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 works and they put them in there and they these guys come in with a style just like this jump they they jump in if you guys want to see the sean porter type styles start watching those guys overseas that's you know and those guys who come from sports because i know that you know from other sports like football and soccer and sports where you got to do that 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 running like that high energy running you know when 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 you notice when you look at them you notice they have this they want to jump in and jump out you know and and i do notice that but anyway you know as the and i wasn't going to watch the, i mean i, I wasn't going to talk about this fight but I'm watching Ritson, and I'm noticing by the fourth round, he don't have as much steam. He's still throwing hard punches, but it's not as much. And I noticed that throughout, you know, from the first on to the fourth round, how Ritson kept, I mean, not Ritson, um, Patera kept putting in work in the body. And see, this is something that I try to t- I try to say in, in some of my videos that you guys headhunt too much. 
Start putting some work in that real estate downstairs. Because that's what Patera did. Hell, by the sixth round, Richardson wasn't even the same. He, he was getting hurt. He was getting rocked. He didn't know what to do. He tried to box. He couldn't really do that too well. And 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 Patera was taking it. I mean, look, man, Patera, had, by, by, by the seventh, eighth round, Patera got all kinds of bounce in his step, everything, because he took everything Richardson can throw at him. Richardson was throwing the, the he's throwing every haymaker he could from that first to the, uh, around the fifth, and sixth round. He was throwing what he could, as hard as he could. But the one thing Patera did is Patera stayed in there, and he kept going to that real estate. He kept going to that body. And see, I enjoy watching fights like that when I hear the storyline because what they were saying was, is Ritson supposed to run over Patera? So I'm looking for this now. You know, I'm looking for it. And when it don't happen, I'm like, uh-huh. So, Mr. Eddie Hearn, this is like the third time I done seen one of your boys get their knots rocked, man. I don't think you too good at picking fighters. You know, I mean, you got you got like two or three on your on, on on in your stable, and they and they okay, but these new guys you picking up, man, they chumps. <laughs> Old man boxing signing out. Peace.